Hi, I'm Sides. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you part two of Viral Logic Pro tips. And I wanna tell you a little secret. Are you ready for it? Come closer. Logic Pro is the best DAW ever. If you don't think so, you can't sit with us. Just kidding, kind of, sort of, not really. All right, jumping right in. Here are the next batch of viral Logic Pro tips. Every tip I show you in this video has gone viral, well, music production viral, on TikTok and or Instagram. First up, if you wanna quickly strip the silence of an audio track, all you have to do is highlight the audio track, press Control X, and then you can adjust the threshold, press OK, and bam, silence is gone. If you want to add something back, you can just drag it out. You can just click on the individual regions. If you want to undo, press Command Z. Bam. Viral tip number two. If you have an audio region and you want to detect the tempo of it really quickly, all you have to do is press Option Command T. This will pop up and you can detect the actual tempo. And you can also use this to change up your song, mess around with some of these features. You can do a flex region to project tempo, use average tempo. Yeah, pretty helpful. If you wanna quickly move a region to another track, so let's say I wanna move these chords to this track. All I have to do is select the track, select the region, and now shift, control, T, bam. How cool is that? Let's say you are noodling around like I am. but I didn't hit record and I like it. All you have to do is press shift R and bam, there it is because logic is always listening. Let's say you wanna spice up these block chords. So I just have chords that are like this. But I wanna quickly spice them up. All you have to do is make sure quantize is on and then go down to Q flam. And now you can mess around with these ticks. So if you check it out, it basically arpeggiated them. So listen. And I can make it a little bit less. Super pretty. You can also go the other way. Let's say I want to quickly jump these up an octave. All I have to do is press shift option, arrow key up, and it jumped it up an octave. And let's say I want to quickly lower it by semitones. All I have to do is hold down option and do arrow key down or up. which is a really cool way to change the key of your song. That also works for audio tracks. Take a listen. I've been staring at the patterns on my... All right, now let's lower it an octave. Shift, option, arrow key down. I've been staring at the patterns on my... Pretty cool. Now let's raise it an octave. Cool, but not as pretty. Here's another cool trick. Let's say I want to take that, I'm just gonna drag this here, and I can reverse it. Go over here, click this button. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> not as cool, but it looks, it's, not, it's actually works really cool with drums. So here's this kick. Okay, so let's say I wanna put one before, and I wanna reverse that one. So I'm just going to, actually, I'm going to move it to a new track. And just to do it quickly, I'm just going to press Control B to bounce it in place. Just to bounce that region in place. I can delete this one, actually. Now this reverse button is here. And here, here's what it sounds like. I just want to, like, move it over a little bit. Pretty cool. So that's a super cool effect. And all you have to do is just click this little reverse button. Another fun thing to reverse is symbols. 
So let me just do a symbol. For example, reverse it. So we go right into here. So it could be a really cool effect. Let's say if all of this was silence. Pretty cool effect. Another viral Logic Pro tip. Let's say I want to mute a few of these boxes. So I can press Control M, Control M. I want to delete this. I want to mute this. I want to test out how my song sounds without these muted boxes, right? And then I decided that I want to quickly delete all of them. So now I'm going to press Shift M. It's going to select all the muted boxes and then I can press delete. How cool is that? Another cool selection tool is, let's say I want to highlight everything but these vocals. So I highlight the vocals, then I press shift I. So now it highlights everything and let's say I wanted to move everything over except for those vocals. So that's really cool. Here's another cool selection tool when I'm creating a bass line from my chords. So I'm gonna find the chords that I want to create the bass line from. Click on one, press command A to select all. Shift arrow key down to just select the root notes. Press copy, command C. Now I'm going to click over here, do new software instrument track, press command V to paste, and here's my root notes. And now I can move it down an octave if I want by pressing shift option arrow key down. There they are an octave. Let's find a bass. I like sculptor. Let's check out this. Let's check out bass. Type bass, and you can hear how it sounds. So really easy way to kind of like add a bass into your song. Okay, next viral Logic Pro tip. If I want to create an anchor, which is another visual to help me line up audio tracks, I could double click on the audio. Now make sure you have file selected, not track, file. And then if you go over here, you'll see this little anchor. And then you could set it where you want it. So I want this anchor to be set maybe on this word because I want to align up the vocals with that word, okay? So now you see my track is here, but my anchor is here. So if I wanted to line everything up with that word, that'd be super helpful. And I could just do it from afar. The next Viral Logic Pro tip, I want to show you opening up a new project. So when you open up a new project, this window will pop up. You can go to new project and yours will likely look like this. But if you click details, you can actually tap tempo right in here. Let's say I want to do a remix of one of my songs. I could just listen to it and tap this tempo. And it'll put the tempo right here. You can also change the key signature, the time signature, input devices, all of this. Okay. Okay. So if I drag a song into my track and I want to align the song with the BPM of the track. So this is where the song's at. I think it's like 89 or something like that. Come on and tell me. But I want to speed it up. So all I have to do is do control click, apply project tempo to region and downbeat, and now check it out. You got nothing to lose. Come on and tell me you love me. Why even bother taking it slow? Super cool. Now the next viral logic pro tip is let's say I want to remix it. So I just want the vocals. Now I can take this stem splitter um, and have it split this one track into vocals, drums, bass, and other. You taste like coffee. You love to show up high. You bring me green tea. You're the apple of my eye. And your voice sounds like butter. And your skin is so smooth. No, you're not like the other. Pretty freaking cool. Okay, so the last viral tip that I want to show you is if you press command comma and you go to view tracks and you select track auto assign 96 colors, I already have it. Most of you probably have it on static. If I create new tracks, it will basically auto assign new colors. So see, that's purple. That's a lighter purple. That's a little magenta. That's brown. That's a, a different brown. That's a different brown. 
that's a brown yellow, that's a yellow or brown, a green, a green. So you get it, right? So that's really cool. I love having my tracks rainbowed colored. I'll show you just one more viral logic pro tip. Okay, so it's, let's say I name this drums one, drums two, et cetera, et cetera, right? And I want the region name to be the same as the track, the track name. So all I have to do is highlight the regions, press shift option N and bam, it quickly labeled the region the same as the track region. So that's really helpful when you're working in the mixer and you want it to have like the correct labels and everything as the region. All right, so there you have it. Let me know if you want me to make a Viral Logic Pro Tips part three. Because it's St. Patty's Day, well, I guess St. Patty's Day was a few days ago. I'm still running a St. Patty's Day sale, so if you want to take advantage of it and get my Logic Pro Crash Course, I love using it on my iPad. Basically, whatever page you are on, you can click on this back to the top, and it'll take you to the table of contents, and then you can click on the chapter, and it'll take you to the chapter, and then if you click on the title, it will take you to a video showing you how to do every single thing in that chapter. This is a one-time fee, and you'll get forever free updates. So anytime Logic Pro updates, I'm going to update the Logic Pro Crash Course, so you'll be the first to know about it. And also, if you don't use an iPad, I love my iPad, but I know not everybody has one. You can use it just um, in preview, and you can still do all the same features. So you can click on the sections, click on the titles, and then it'll open up a video, bam, and then you can watch it. And you can also click to the top and you can do it all again. And if you have any questions as you go, you can leave your comments here and I will answer your questions in the chapters. And if you're not convinced, I've gotten some really good reviews. I purchased a Logic Pro crash course and wallpapers and couldn't be happier for anyone being skeptical about first about buying. Don't be. I can only say it's worth every penny. Thank you very much, Sides. You gave us the boost in our workflow everyone was looking for. This makes me so happy when I get these comments. I don't I don't even ask for them. I get them. It's like a surprise and it just honestly makes my day. There's no greater feeling than knowing a product that you worked super hard on that people really like. So yeah, if you want over 300 quick Logic Pro tips, 40% off, lifetime updates, and to support my small business, link is in the description. Regardless whether or not you grab my crash course. I really hope all of my videos on YouTube help. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you guys are making music you are proud of and keep creating and I will see you in the next video. Bye.